Ah, oh, Snap Call doesn't. Ah. Great, great. So far we're stacking, boys. We're stacking the bounties. Can we get all five, chat? Can we get all five? Give me some fives in the chats. Give me the fives in the chat for winning five bounties. Let's do this. Come on. Welcome everyone to today's stream streaming high stakes sitting goals on party and poker stars. Hopefully we get some high stakes action running. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna probably gonna be on an, on on any two now, but uh, we still have some some bubble considerations, of course, with the regular price pool. And uh, he can still call us off very wide since he covers us. So, yeah. Not even sure if he would raise forward 10 5 off against us. And um, since the big blind is now also so short, yeah, we just want to get it in uh, against the big blind. If he shoves, I don't actually mind. If he calls, I'm also going to call. Um, he's going to be shoving like super, super wide. And if he shoves and big blind folds, we can still fold. And then, uh, which we also don't mind because there's also the chance that he might give him a walk, but uh, which I don't think. I mean, if the bounty is in play, he's probably going to be shoving any two anyway, but this hand just is too strong against the big blind range. So uh, pocket threes is just a pure shove here. Oh, and we need some runner runner. But we're still alive. GG, not the worst outcome. We scoop one bounty. So how much did we cash in this one? Oh, this guy won five KOs. So yeah, 250 bucks plus the 144. Uh, we won 200. So we doubled our buy-in essentially. I am just shoving the queen jack suited. And ace 10 off, we're also just gonna be shoving. Again, it's a PKO, so if, if he has like, yeah, something like this, he's gonna call anyway. And we fade the split. Cover both of them. Yes, two starting stacks, 500. Should be roughly. Yeah, we still have to fold. The effective chips or dead money that is in play from his bounty is probably it's around 400 chips. So, well, this guy is definitely big. I am the same hand. Is it even the same suits? This would be rigged. I almost. Tim Thompson! <laughs> what a pleasure. And he has position on the on this on the on the fish. Tim Thompson, my man. That's awesome. <laughs> and Steven as well! DW Stevie playing a little home game here, huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. Even though it's definitely quite, quite, quite loose. Oh, they're getting it in. Ah, oh, we 
have to forward here. I'm just going for a small bet against his um, eights, nines. Uh, maybe he fought some. Uh, he should fought, fought king queens, and uh, yeah. And we made it in the money here. No bounty though, but yeah, sometimes you simply don't get any any spots, and the ten high is going to be good enough. Four, five, six, seven, and flush draw, and so many outs, and no. So it's still both of them are still in. DW Stevie <laughs> Recreational. <laughs> yeah, the seven nine off we got the shove here. This is definitely a Nash shove. Uh seven nine is the bottom though, foot before it's six nine off. He has to call at least 45%, I would say, 50%. Interesting here. He limps and um, definitely ahead with the gut shot and the flush drop. He wants to start betting. And we get the fourth, the uh, Tim Thompson. And we also take it down with the five high. Feels good. <coughs> <coughs> and easy shove with the eight six suited. I hope Stevie is ICM aware of what's going on here. But I feel like there might be a slow rule coming in at some point if he has a chance. So I'm not going to take the tank too serious. Um, it's a shove when the collision likelihood between the two of them is not that high. So that means Stevie is not shoving close to any two. Uh, which I think I'm not, I'm not so sure if he's shoving any two. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think it's fine to shove here. Also, if it goes through, we are chip leader and gives us some very good opportunity to abuse the bubble. And we still have two big blinds. <coughs> Just unfortunate that he wakes up with ace king there. And now we have to call. Good hand, I don't mind. Is Tim Thompson a good high stakes rack? Yes, he is. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're fighting. Probably not too bad to call here against. Uh, I'm not sure if he's shoving any two. King eight off. We're certainly gonna be. <laughs> this guy is crushing us. All right, GG. Gear TV, take it down. I can't chat here. No, I cannot. Unlucky. The most important thing we finished before Tim Thompson. And we bluffed Tim Thompson. And we shoved into big blind, uh, Tim Thompson's big blind. I feel like I'm the true winner of the sitting go. And for those who don't know me, my name is Ben CB. I'm founder of Raise Your Edge, the poker school. We also have an esports organization, Raise Your Edge Gaming. We have a Discord where you can join for free, ask your questions. We have lots of coaches in there that provide feedback, answer questions regarding hands, mindset. We have topics all around, um, all around self improvement, nutrition, books. So feel free to join. I think we're now close to twenty thousand members in there. Many like minded people that you can connect with and start surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And if you want to know more about us or our courses, you just can go to raiseyouredge.com, check out our courses. 
if you're interested. And now we're just gonna be reshoving the force here. <clears throat> yes, this there, we did a review with Sam. It's gonna be on YouTube. And we can just range bet here on King four five. Uh, I will make a second bird just because I feel his timing is a little weird. Like, um, I think he's got us on on a lot of um queen high floats or um four x. I think if he was a king or five, he would probably consider um betting, leading, or also check raising the flop. This kind of insta check call, check turn kind of strikes me more, uh, more weak on general. Um, that's where I'm getting a little out of line with my um, second birds. Okay, so this guy iso min raises pre flop and then pots the flop. I think we have an easy fold here. Don't forget your juice, boys and girls. A juice a day. Keeps the doctor away. And more importantly, keeps Bensi B away, telling you to drink your juice. So just have your juice. And we're not. Why are you guys. Why are these guys flatting so much? I just want to induce Rishas. Uh, the only guy that kind of sucks here that facing a flat. Is going for the flat and just bets every fucking flop. Let's see if I can see a shout out from this guy. Ah. Are we raising the ace nine off here? Easy call against the small end, but he folds. I mean, we still have a good stack here, so. Oh, finally, someone is not jamming ace king and better. That's good to see. Ace Queen Cedar, we're certainly gonna get it in. No, I'm not going for Diamond Elite. Oh, that's that's good to see that there's uh, some additional dead money in the middle. I hope Iced will ISO shove and not call. <sighs> yep, that's good. And now we just have to hold. That's a good outcome. And we've got another knockout here. Mm. If he shoves any ace, but even then it's gonna be close. I doubt he's gonna be shoving any ace. Ah, uh, King Jack suited. Um, King Jack suited. I'm just gonna be reshoving. For me, easy rule of thumb: if he goes all in, I would have called. If he has, a set, if he has aces, whatever. Um, I've seen the craziest chat. Remember the guy earlier raised calling with Jack Nine suited, like ten eight off. So I'm not just gonna be afraid of oh. He might have aces, let's pot control and try to hit a good hand here. For me, if he jams, I would have called. So if he min raises, I'm not going to be like making any fancy adjustments. <coughs> here with a knockout, I'm just going to be shoving the check for suited. Uh, we won this one. He limps queen eight off. Why do you limp queen it off? Just open shove it. Jesus fucking Christ. Just open jam. If you if you want to get it in, then just jam. I'm going to be calling a lot of weaker hands. And if I have 4-3 off, I'm folding all this equity that I can play in position. Um, yeah, anyway, we take it. And now we hit the gas pedal. And we collect... One, two, three more bounties. That's the plan. I was driving the Jack Nine off. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, shoving the Jacktin off here on the bubble. And we collect another bounty. This is bounty one out of three. We get the time bank here. No. All right. We get the shot to win also two more bounties. Let's go. Just a 10. Just a 10. Just do it. Just do it. So he wins. He wins. Oh, we win against the big blind. It's still possible. It's still possible. Hey Ben, great content I saw in it. Uh, you offer private coaching sessions, right? How much is it for an hour coaching session? You will find all information on RazorEdge.com. Feel free to check it out. I'm mainly working with professionals, which means you have to be very dedicated. As professionals doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be winning uh, or you, you should have a certain amount of experience. That's that's the requirement. 4G jamming into pocket tens. Four? Nope. Reshoving the ace-10 off here. <coughs> Come on. We have got two, of th two out of three bounties. The goal was to win all three of them. We're not, we're, we're not taking any prisoners. No, don't do it. All right. All right, all right. there we need a 10 ah uh, interesting spot on the bubble here he okay we bluff pre-flop we raise 10-4 we bet the flop he just over bet jams the turn i don't mind yeah anyway we won we still won three bounties so i think it's a It's a decent outcome. Let's not be too greedy. All right, we split it up. Uh, Jack and suited. Uh, we can race call, limb call. Um, this hand, we certainly have to. I think limb call is fine. I don't mind playing this heads up in, head, hand in position, heads up. Now he suddenly raised bigger. All right, all right. Uh, we just reshoved sixes and top pair with this deck size. We just, unfortunately, reshove re into aces. <clears throat> Oh, huh, so interesting. He three X's the ten eight off and he two and a half X's the nines. Maybe he's playing reverse poker. Tries to put in as much money as possible with his weak holdings and tries to uh, build a pot. Uh, tr tries not to build a pot with his strong holdings. All right. Some similar. Every pro should have a bottle next to his desk. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I missed this. Ah, oh, few isograms. I wouldn't have won anyway. So, want to drink? What is this for? Hmm? No, I'm just kidding. Ah, yeah, we easy shove, easy shove here. He's gonna be shoving really wide for this bounty here. This is a big one. This is a big one. <clears throat> oh, two sevens are blocked. That's pretty good. Two bounties, two more bounties. Let's go. Ah, uh, snap call doesn't. Ah. Great, great. 
So far we're stacking boys. We're stacking the bounties. Can we get all five chat? Can we get all five? Give me some fives in the chats. Give me the fives in the chat for winning five bounties. Let's do this. Come on. Five bounties. Clapping all five bounties. Get out of here. First $200 knockout. And sorry, boys. There is nothing left for you. Everything goes into my pocket. Thanks for the efforts, but I'm not sharing anything. I'm not here to take prisoners. And King 5 offers an easy call. Three, four, five. Uh. No way. We're not gonna bother this one. We're not gonna bother this one. <clears throat> I'm just gonna call it. Uh, this helps me basically if he shafts he still like then he still has to call it because i can still fold but if i shove he calls he can still fold and then so i put it in a much more difficult spot is he consider folding like what can he have like something like queen jack if he has queen jack actually he might be considered folding <laughs> that's sick oh no i mean you can never fold nines there dude come on can never afford knights there. This is looking good. We win this $100 sit and go on party. Yes, I would like to play again. Thanks for inviting me. Limpot 10 4 off. Uh, he leads the flop. Uh, we check it down. Oh, he's not even bluffing. Uh, 3 2 off. We're just going to be shoving. Oh, really small blind cards. He probably thinks I'm shoving incredible white in order to get it the, get it all in against the big blind, but I'm certainly not. Uh, hmm. ah. This hurts, but yeah, we take it. It's all right. We're gonna win this one here. Good call by him. Uh, can we hold? Yes, we can hold. Good one, good one. That's a weird sizing, to be honest. I mean, 42% pot. I mean, we're definitely going to call once again. Oh, he should surely shove any, any ace here, try to get me off a split. Um, yeah, I mean, what do I really have, is, especially since suit-wise, uh, it blocks all the king high in spades and king high in hearts floats on the flop. Um, so I'm very unlikely to have a king here and I have way more weaker ace-x and yeah, uh, if he has, he should be shoving any ace because he has ace-queen, ace-jack, ace-10. And he also blocks king-9, which is of course a hand we might just check call on the turn. Uh, just wanted to open shove this one. Anyway, we're gonna raise call now. Anyway, pretty standard.
Espinoff, easy reshuffle here. $200 Super KO Tournament. Blah. We need the queen. Shoving the 8 6 suited here. Also, not getting there. Yeah, I mean, we have to gamble with Jack 9 uh, off here. And pocket fives, we just gonna reshuffle here. And goes through. Oh, looking too bad there with our Jack nine. Give us a Jack nine or 10, nope, GG. And in the party poker tournament, we just gonna be shoving here with around 21 big blinds and a couple of limbs. Are you going to Lex Live? Nope. I will be at the beginning of April, I'll be in Roswaldorf. There's the poker con organized by uh, Nicky Mouse and his team. I'm going to be there. Uh, conducting a seminar, um, playing some tournaments. I'm uh, gonna be calling here the pocket knights. I think he's gonna be reshoving at least fours plus, probably any pairs. Might be through getting aces kings. We're just gonna be running too often. Uh, what can you do? That's interesting. With a bounty, he's roughly shoving. Yeah, we have to call. <laughs> Queen and high. Let's go. Uh, I know this guy can be quite aggressive, so I'm going to be... He knows I'm going to be raising super wide. Um, so, yeah. This would have been just as an adduce here. What's going on here? Party poker. We got another party poker sit and go running. <clears throat> we have a chance to win all knockouts in one sit and go. So let's let's do it. Going for a check raise on the flop. I uh, kind of fair that he's going to start limb trapping me, but I mean, what are you going to do with threes there? <laughs> I'm going to start checking back a pair. We're going to have a comeback. I'm gonna bet the turn here. And queen four suited, easy shove. And we're kinda slowly coming back. Pocket force. We go with it and we need to win the flip. Oh whoa whoa, whoa. that's 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 criminal. Wow, it holds. We're holding, we're holding. Uh, two and a half big blinds, eight, four off. This is 
pretty close. <clears throat> All right, we did it. We did it once again, chat. We won six kills, kills <laughs> in one sitting goal. Let's go! Uh, bubble here against the second. It goes check check on the flop, and he can certainly have some king high flush draws and ace high flush draws that just keep pot controlling and check call. I think a three is very unlikely. He has a lot of the times in a s seven. Might be close. Might be very close where you bet on the river. But I think if he has a seven with a good blocker, I don't think he's gonna fold it. He's not supposed to fold at least. If he does, then my, my bluffs are just printing. Yeah. He had queen eight. What? Queen eight? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, we're dead. We're dead here. Oh, what was the river? I'm just I'm gonna reshuffle here. I think he's gonna be race folding a lot. Uh, it can be quite expensive and super marginal, but now I can build a bigger gap between us as a cheap leader and him as a ch second in chips. And now we can shuffle close to any two and again re rebuild this this big chip lead that we had. I'm gonna be shoving here. Unfortunately, we lose this heads up here. Ah, oh, we still have two of chips. But we're busted now. Interesting uh, run out here. Uh, we limp the flop, check, check. Uh, we limp pre-flop, check, check on the flop. Check call turn against the small sizing. Let's see what happens on the river. Uh, first, we call this all in here. Jesus, dude, like, come on, bluff sometimes. What better hand are you waiting for? I mean, he's not blocking club draws, he's not blocking strong diamonds. We have a lot of 7x, 9x, uh, he improves to queen tens. And Wow. High stakes are not running so well. Apart from this one $200 uh, uh, knockout tournament that we won six bounties. More sizings as well. Uh, Ace four, uh, pocket fours. So I'm just gonna be re uh, three betting, committing against him. I can also do it with ace king, queens, jacks, uh, and, and if big blind jams and, and, and he calls, I can still fold. And yeah, if he jams, we call her. That's very unfortunate. But he's certainly gonna have enough race for it with this deck size. 10-9 uh, off, we have to jam here with this deck size. No, I'm not playing mixed games today. Uh, shoving the 7-6 suited here, I think should be the superior play, pocket fives, of course, we're gonna. Um, if button raises, we're gonna reshuff. If he shoves, we have an easy call. Oh, 
was sweat on the turn. <clears throat> Ace check, I think I'm. Yeah, anyway, we reshot this one. And now we have a stack size, like if we three bet, we still have to. Uh, we don't have enough behind. So we're going to be committed, so we can also just reshove right away. And as you can see, he's still race folding enough, so... The reshove, I think, with the force was pretty, pretty standard. Uh, again, if you guys want to need content for satellites, just join our Discord. We have an exclusive, not exclusive, everyone can join, it's for free. Uh, satellite channel with a satellite expert getting wiser and you can ask all your questions which games to play strategy questions all for free you don't need to sign up just join our discord oh oh what 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 could how the fuck did they get it in here anyway we're gonna call the ace jack off anyway we're gonna play its heads up in the 2k uh definitely would like to know Okay, he opened shaft and he called the king 10. That's uh, easy call with the force. Oh yeah, pocket fives, easy shaft. We're definitely also running well in this uh, 2k, making good hands. Also just shoving fives. Okay, I'm getting slow road here a little bit. But I think he also just has a lot of tables going on, so definitely not accusing him of slow running us. Oh, running into what? Wow, he just jams his queen five off there. Uh, that's interesting. Now the music is not going to really have an impact on the way I play, to be honest. unless you play a super annoying music that you don't like, you know heavy metal or something that I wouldn't consider as beneficial. Uh, he flicks it in with Jack-9 with given his deck size, shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, long story short, the one case are not going so well. And uh, yeah, we have to call it here with two big blinds and the 10-3 off against the shove. <clears throat> if we can have a comeback, then it's now. Oh, that's not looking good. That's looking much better. And pocket tens. Oh, now he got us. Um, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm gonna be wrapping it up. So, yeah, we're actually building up a little bit, and then at the end, the high stakes just killed us. Um, Forty tournaments, slightly down. Yeah. Given the buy-ins, pretty much break even. Um, that's how sitting goals are. Forty sitting, forty tournaments, and then of course it doesn't include the party poker tournaments. I think with party, yeah, party didn't go so bad. I think a lot of the one hundred is actually cashed. So, the end of the day, around break even. But with the stream and all the fun we had, I hope you guys learned something from today. And I wish you. A good Sunday grind in case you're still playing, if not a strong finish of the week and a strong start into the new next week. See you guys next time. Don't forget to check out all the other show socials. Don't forget to check out Rage Gaming. If you have any questions about uh, Sit and Go Poker, Tournament Poker, join our Discord. We have a lot of different channels with more than seven coaches constantly giving feedback. So feel free to join our Discord, ask your questions, engage with our community. See you guys next time. It was a pleasure engaging with you. It was very positive and uh, very good questions. I really enjoyed it. I have to say, sometimes, you know, I can also get grumpy about people being toxic, but I liked it today. It was nice. Looking forward to the next stream. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.